what's up i like scary man we are back i hope you guys are enjoying your day man i'm enjoying my day man feels good to be a horror fan today you guys we will be talking about some halloween and rumors you guys uh, what's going on in the horror community and you know what i've been told and man i want to talk about it and it is kind of wild man so today you guys we were talking about the license of Halloween. Well, where will we be going next? Rumors has it that possibly Paramount could possibly be picking up the Halloween license in the future. Let's talk about it, man. Um, so as far as we know, you guys, um, I heard rumors, you know, that uh, yeah, Paramount could possibly pick up the room, I mean, pick up the license for Halloween. And man, to think about this, you guys, Paramount has did a ton of movies. Friday the 13th Part 3, you know, the final chapter. It just, it is crazy, bro, to know that they, you know, there's the rumors out there saying they could possibly pick up Halloween. They even did Scream. They're doing Scream, uh, Scream 6, they did Scream 5. This is going to be crazy if this happens. Um, I've heard they said someone told me possibly that uh, it can be, you know, true. Man, all I'm going to say is if Paramount picks this up, this will be crazy. But it's kind of weird because, you know, Scream, I'm, I'm going to use Scream for example. They, they handle Scream different than how than Blumhouse handled Halloween Kills in 2018. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of you know bittersweet i don't know how to feel about it only good thing i feel that's in this you know rumor is that michael will be back he will be back sooner than what we thought you know i was telling you guys about six or seven years solid you know years without michael but if they're already, t already talking about possibly getting a license back from mr michael myers man we could possibly see him you know sooner but you know the crazy thing about it is when they they will have to get new cast members um hopefully they will aim for a new storyline you know like i told you guys in previous videos that um i think that if when michael you know gets rebooted back up and everything and he comes back to the horror you know community and the cinemas i think that um we should probably get a stroll to break um you know, give Michael another story. So I uh, give him another family to like go after or something. Even though Michael kills anyone in his way and he's not after anyone. So, you know, I think that would be a nice way to be, you know, explain Michael kind of in a new, you know, reboot or remake, whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, man, we've seen, I think, you know, it's definitely going to be, I'm not, it's not going to be, you know, Allison or, you know that route because that's David Gordon Green's cast members. That's what he does, and they they are you know loyal to him from what I'm seeing. You know Chris Nelson. That's another thing. Um, Paramount will have. I'm not saying Paramount is you know terrible at all, but I'm just saying Paramount will have to uh, get a you know a nice a, a artist for the mask, and you know they will have they will have to pick up directors that knows what they're doing and that are comfortable with just picking up this freaking franchise because i want to i'm not trying to be funny you guys i feel like a lot of people are kind of nervous to pick up a halloween franchise they know the pressure that comes behind it you know but in a way i will be happy to do that because it's like bro if you really love this film i feel like the person the next person to pick up the halloween license should be someone that actually you know loves the film like david gordon green and you know that is or that are invested because you have to understand michael you have to understand the boogeyman and the story and, and what happened and how the things went about the essence of evil and the shape you know what i'm saying so you can't just give the license to anybody but um i, I think that it can go like it's like 50 50 literally because um, they did okay with Scream 5. They did okay. You know, and Dave and Gordon Green, he's been killing it. I'm not going to lie. He's been killing it with this trilogy, man. I mean, yes, Halloween Kills had a few cringy moments, but I mean, that's what you're going to get from somebody who kind of, you know, played with, like, 
you know what type of movies he did. So it's like, that's what you're going to get, man. That's what you're going to get. And, you know, some comedic stuff in there. And I liked it, but the Halloween Kills kind of, he just had some cringy moments. But I definitely feel that um, no one's going to ever get that mask. I always say no one's going to ever get that mask as close to the 78 as Chris Nelson. I'm not, I'm not saying no one is going to ever, like, give us a look that we can, you know, go by with and be satisfied with but no one's gonna ever get that mask down pat like chris nelson man that shit is out of this world insane and david gore green to feel it's gonna be hard to feel in some shoes that david gore green has like put out in the horror community and, and just created and cement it to the ground man it's gonna be crazy <laughs> because he has definitely left his mark man when it comes to michael myers like I feel like, you know how we talk about John Carpenter now? We're going to talk about Dave and Gordon Green, man. We're going to talk about the trilogy a lot now. Like That's going to be our history kind of now. Like, when we look back on Halloween, we're still going to look at 78. But you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that. But like I told you guys, man, I think it would be cool for them to pick up the the Halloween license and go about it with, like, Jamie Lloyd involved, Daniel Harris. I think that will be cool. Um, you know, or they can possibly tell their own story with michael like you know what i'm saying tell their own story with him you know michael is getting old so i don't think that people when they get the license that they will pick it up from you know i mean they can take that route like pick it up and tell their own story of 2018 because i mean you can you right when it's that at that point you can go like you can go different ways of being michael make, making michael brutal and, and you can just go different ways of making them brutal and stuff like that so I just, you know, I don't want nobody to come along and grab the license and pull a Rob Zombie because with fans, you know, it's a lot of fans out there that want a lot of questions answered. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's too many questions you want to be answered. Like, the the what, what does Michael do before the night of Halloween and, and what did he do leading up to this and how was he before he killed Judith and... That will basically crush the image of Michael, man. We don't want to know that. We just want to know Halloween night and what made him snap and go after Judith and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm that's where we're going to have to go through when other people pick it up, man. Um, So, you know, look how many people, you know, are trying to pick up Nightmare on Elm Street, you know. Speaking of that, you know, Jason Blum actually saying, which I think will kill it, saying he, he could possibly try to get a Nightmare on Elm Street going, but... Will Robert England be in it? I don't know. But as far as we know, you guys, this, this is just a rumor. You know, with Paramount um, possibly picking up Halloween license. We're going to not have Lori in it, of course. Um, I don't know, man. So I feel that they can't even go the reboot route or the remake route if Jamie Lee Curtis is not, you know, I don't think so, man. It depends on who, who gets it. And I think... <clears throat> We will understand when we find out who gets the license license for Halloween, like what to expect and stuff like that. Like that's this is our example. If Radio Silence, the people who are you know dealing with Scream got um, Halloween, no, mm -mm. they will kill it. They will really like kill the franchise. I feel like just I'm not saying that I'm not saying that they're terrible at what they do because I feel like they are literally designed to make a Scream movie. Like. Just stay over there, and, you know, Halloween is different, bro. Just the way that you guys have the teenage drama set up and everything. Mm -mm. Just, you know, because Halloween, just, it, you have to be a certain type of director to get a Halloween movie, you know, to the point. It's a lot of people picked the license up and did what they, what they did, and uh, it did not turn out to be something that we thought would be good in the future, so... Um, but with that being said, you guys, comment down below, man. What do you think about this? Uh, you know, Paramount possibly picking up the license for Halloween, man. I think uh, it's like 50-50. It's bittersweet. I'm not saying they're terrible at what they do. But you have to match the vibe of this franchise and know what you're doing with this franchise. This is not a Jason or a Scream movie. This is a different pace, a different vibe, different environment, and a different type of evil. So, but... You guys, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me up on my social media. at I like scary on Instagram. I like scary seven seven on TikTok. Brandon Allen on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. And don't forget, you guys can always become a member of the Patreon to freaking get exclusive content and bonus features of the channel. Also, right there where it says 
subscribe right next to it says join you can join to become a member of the channel get a nice little badge next to your name in the live chat and get bonus content as such as live private watch parties you name it um but yeah you all watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all peace